हेलो ऑल माई नेम इज श्रद्धा टोने असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ पॉलीवन फिलिंग सो वी विल सी जस्ट फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द पॉलीवन फिलिंग एंड द अलगोरिदम्स विच इज यूज फॉर द पॉलीवन फिलिंग सो मोस्ट ऑफ द ग्राफिक्स पैकेजेस प्रोवाइड एरिया फिलिंग प्रिमेटिव these are two common approaches for area filling in a raster system one way is to determine the visible span of each scan line of the polygon so this method is used to fill simple shapes like ellipse circle rectangle etc scan line polygon filling approach is the example of this kind of area filling method another approach is to start with any interior pixel and keep filling region outward until it hits the boundary so this approach is applicable for filling shapes with complex boundaries and interactive painting system flood fill and boundary fill falls in the category so polygon filling algorithm fill the background of polygon most popular algorithms of polygon filling are flood fill and the boundary fill so we can say that filling a polygon is nothing but coloring it with a specific color there are two common approaches for area filling in a raster scan one way is to determine visible span of each scan line of the polygon which is called as scan line polygon filling and another is the flood fill and the boundary fills so the most popular algorithm of polygon filling are pixel level algorithms seed fill algorithms in that boundary fill and flood fill algorithms are there and scan line polygon filling algorithms and last one is geometry level algorithms so in this video we are going to see only the two main important polygon filling algorithm that is boundary fill and the flood fill algorithm so let's see what is but before going to uh, start this boundary fill and flood fill algorithm first of all we will need to understand the pixel connectivity so what is mean by pixel connectivity so this connectivity defines the relationship between the pixel under considerations with its neighboring pixels so most common and useful types of connectivity which is shown in this figure so pixel is called four connected if it has a four neighbors and it is called eight connected if it has a eight neighbor so in this figure the first figure shows the four connected and this pixel has connected with another pixels which is called as the eight connected so we assume that the connected pixel is the current pixel we find its neighboring pixel that is left then right then top and bottom so in case of four connected way but in eight connected way with left right top bottom we are also considering the diagonal pixels like this these are the diagonal pixels that we are considering and we covered in eight connected way so in order to color the polygon eight connected way is preferred as four connected way is not efficient at the boundaries so eight connected components and four connected components is shown in this figure now we will see the boundary fill algorithm what is the boundary fill algorithm and how it is used to fill the algorithm so working mechanism is like boundary fill algorithm uh, start with some interior pixels of the polygon which is called as the seed pixel and keep filling neighboring pixel in outward direction so here x and y these are the coordinates fill color means the colors which we are going to fill and boundary color means the already the color which has the polygon boundary so that is the boundary color so the neighboring pixel is outward direction until the boundary color is encountered so boundary fill algorithm start with three parameters x y then fill color and this boundary color so this approach retrieves the color of the current pixel and compare it with fill color and boundary color if here get color will gives the current color of x y coordinate so whatever the current will color will be there that will store into this current variable so now here we will check the current color should not equal to fill color 
means if we have to fill blue color, so the color and color should not be blue. And also we are going to check the boundary color and the current color should not be the same. Then only we will fill our new color in that current pixel, which is in the XY, which are having XY coordinates. So if the color of the current pixel is neither fill color nor boundary color, then fill it with the fill color and make a recursive call. So here, once we fill the color, then next will be x plus 1 means the next position of x and y. So in this way, we are going to fill it in a recursive way, recursive call. Otherwise, skip the pixel under considerations. If this condition is false, then skip the pixels un under consideration. So neighbor pixel are approaches using the 4 connectivity or 8 connectivity. Sometimes 4 connectivity fails to paint the entire region. That's why 8 connectivity is time consuming and memory intensive. But this method is useful in interactively painting packages when the selection of interior pixel can be done very easily using input devices like a mouse. So to create a solid region, set the fill color to boundary color so that boundary and the interior region becomes indistinguishable after the filling. So recursive this algorithm checks all the pixels using 8 connectivity if we prefer. So it will recursively check all the pixels in the given polygon and fill them if not already filled. So this algorithm may not work properly if some of the pixels are already filled because algorithm returns when the current pixel is either boundary fill, boundary pixel or it is a fill. So to avoid this, we uh, shall set the color of all interior pixels to the background color. Now we will see the advantage and disadvantage of this algorithm. So advantage is simple, it is easy to implement, also works for any type of polygons. And the disadvantage is it requires extensive stacking due to recursion. Then does not work for, uh, if the boundary is specific with the multiple colors. And in that case, flood fill algorithm will work. So need to specify here seed points, which is contained within the polygon. Also polygon should be filled with the background color and require more memory. And also it is not suitable for the large polygon. So this was about the boundary fill algorithm. Now, Next is the flood fill algorithm. So here, all the drawbacks of boundary fill algorithm will be covered in the flood fill algorithm. So the filling of polygon depends on the type of connectivity here. And it a working mechanism of this flood fill algorithm is many uh, actually realistic objects have a different colored boundaries. And boundary fill algorithm cannot fill the polygon with multicolor boundaries. So, flood fill algorithm can handle this issue. So, the algorithm starts with again the interior pixels, then fill color and whole color. So, here X and Y is the interior pixel, color fill color, which is the color we are going to fill, and the old color. So, here if the color of the current pixel is the same. If current equal to equal to old color means if the current of the pixel is the same as old color, then it fills the pixel. Then it will fill the pixel with the new fill color and examine its neighboring recursively. So this is a recursive call which is used for connectivity and this is a recursive call for the algorithm which will fill all the pixels using 8 connected. So like boundary fill algorithm, if the interior pixel is already filled with some other color and flood fill algorithm fails and to handle this problem, we shall first paint all the interior pixels with background color. Now we will see the advantage and disadvantages of this. So advantage of this algorithm is it is a simple, also it is easy to implement. It can fill the object with multicolor boundary and disadvantage is Again, it recursive, stacking it required. It is also slow in nature. Then not suitable for large polygon. Then as a recursive function is used to fill the area of polygon. So there is a possibility of system stack getting full. So to avoid this, we can write a user-defined stack here. 
otherwise a dynamic memory allocation of for the implementation of the stack that is a linked list can be used thank you very much